Hi guys, it's me Yobi Programmer and today we will discuss about loss and accuracy. How do you interpret them? We will talk about that. Uh, before that, I want you to know if you are working on any uh, project related to machine learning, deep learning, AI, uh, data science, right? Uh, related to these domains. Uh, first of all, you can check out these already done uh, channel, uh, projects or you can contact me on this WhatsApp or mail to discuss about your project and we will see if we can help out right okay so let's talk about the loss and accuracy in this video so whenever you are training a model or a neural network uh, in the in the Keras in the uh, TensorFlow or uh, PyTorch whatever uh, framework you are using it doesn't matter concept will be same and you have to uh, be aware of that okay uh, so there will be two things which you have to print when you are training this is training happening that means model is learning uh, uh, the patterns on your data and uh, we have to report the loss and accuracy but what uh, this means right we have the graph also here we will talk about that also but let's see how these numbers uh, interpret right so this is epoch one by the way epoch just mean that your uh, how many times uh, your model see all of your data points so let's say if you are building an image classifier and you have 10,000 images in your data then if you are choosing epoch as uh, 10 right 10 epochs then it will uh, say that uh, the model will see those 10,000 images for the 10 times okay so that's how it goes with the epochs uh, now we know the epochs so first epoch is happening uh, and uh, here are 50,000 data points that means 50,000 images or 50,000 uh, like any uh, data points right uh, rows of your data okay so first epoch is happening what is the loss 0 0.25 the accuracy 0 0.92 validation loss the loss on your testing data set is 0 0.08 validation accuracy 0 0.97 you have to be careful about these numbers just remember that right now second epoch happening that means model is learning and growing right now what's happening the loss is decreasing gradually 0 0.06 it happened from 25 to uh, 0 0.06 that uh, big uh, you can say decrease in the uh, loss and the accuracy will be opposite from the loss it will increase as the model learns so from 92 percent it became 98 percent same with the validation loss and the validation accuracy so that means we can uh, uh, conclude that uh, loss and accuracy are uh, totally opposite things but loss will be uh, higher in the beginning of the training and accuracy will be lower in the beginning uh, of the training you can just note down these or just rewind the video it may be confusing right and when the uh, neural network start learning the loss will decrease loss means the cost function or the error of uh, in your prediction it will decrease because model is uh, understanding and learning or becoming smarter right with the every epoch uh, going on and the accuracy will uh, as as a result increase as the uh, epoch will uh, increase right so i hope this makes sense and now we will see it on the graph right so here is uh, the loss graph you can see the loss was quite higher in the uh, beginning this blue line is training loss the loss calcul being calculated on your training data set and the loss being calculated on your validation data set is uh, denoted by this yellow or orange line the loss was higher in the beginning but it started to uh, decrease as the model uh, uh, you can say start to learn uh, itself right start to learn about the data and the patterns 
and accuracy was quite lower in the beginning but it started to increase gradually as the model start learning so this was main uh, interpretation of all of these numbers so sometimes uh, we beginners see these numbers and we just uh, like bang our head in the wall like what all these means uh, so they are just numbers but they are trying to tell you a story that model is learning and you can just go on uh, now let's say if loss is not decreasing it may be increase uh, in some times if if your model is not learning if it, uh, it may be a problem with your data or um, uh, your approach uh, sometimes right so you can just terminate that because you uh, now uh, understand these numbers and you can say uh, if the loss is increasing then what's the point of training further right so uh, better to terminate it and uh, start uh, tracking your uh, mistake in your approach right uh, so that's it for the video and you can uh, contact me on the whatsapp or mail to discuss uh, anything about machine learning deep learning projects or anything like that okay so that's it for this video i'll meet you in the next one